This is the FL100 pulse oximeter blood oxygen monitor for continuous use by Facelake. And today I'm going to give you a demonstration on everything that this product has to offer. So first we'll take out the user manual and then the batteries that are included with the product and this lanyard. We're going to start by simply just putting in the batteries so we can begin monitoring our oxygen levels and pulse rate. Okay, once we have that, we're just going to turn it on. And you're going to put your index finger in with your nail facing up. So once we wait for a reading, I'm going to show you everything that this product has to offer. On the left hand side, you're going to see the SpO2 levels and on the right hand side, the number will represent the pulse rate. Okay, once you have your reading, then you can click several times and you'll see the four different display modes for our easy readings. Then you're going to hold down the button and this will take you for the first setting where the alarm setup is. So you hit the button once and you can hold it down to turn the alarm setting on or off. So we're going to turn it on. Then next if you want a beep you can hold down the button again on or off. We're going to keep that in the off mode. Then you hit the button several times and you go to the alarm setup and you hold the button down for several seconds and this will take you to the sound setup. So the first two SpO2 alarm high and low are for your blood oxygen level. We're going to keep the high at 100 because it's out of 100 and the bottom two are your pulse rates high and low numbers. So we're going to keep the high like I said before but we want to change the low um, to 70. So we're going to go down to where there's a plus and minus option and you're going to hold down for a few seconds. Then you'll see the displayed minus. So we'll go back up to the low and we're going to hold down until we get to 70. Then if we want to change the pulse rate high, we'll go back down again and you can hold it down for several seconds so you see the plus sign and we're going to change the high to 170. This part uh, moves in increments of 5. Then we can just go back to the home screen and you will have your reading again. So just for a friendly reminder, when you are uh, beginning to use this device, we don't recommend having nail polish. You should wipe off your finger with some rubbing alcohol and make sure that your finger is warmed up. Thank you for watching this tutorial and we hope you enjoyed it.